And you've also got this super base and this fire base integration here. So if I go over to super base, for example, if I click connect to super base now, let's open the agent again. So I'm going to connect this to super base. This opens super base for me. So I can then authorize Dreamflow to access my super base account. And that gives Dreamflow access to do anything within my super base account from like creating projects to editing the projects, adding tables, updating the database schema, all of those things that you would add in super base. The same way that Loverboard would kind of do that for you if you're prompting it to make changes in Superbase and you can see here on the left hand side so now this is set up it's creating the project setup it's setting up the project in Superbase and it's then going to generate the Superbase code and then it's going to deploy the schema to Superbase to set up the database and authentication for my app. So we can see there Superbase has created the project and if I go over to Superbase and go to my dashboard, you'll be able to see that Dreamflow has created, now which one it is, I can't remember. That's just a some sort of name that Dreamflow has generated. And this is my database project and authentication and backend and everything in Superbase like that was created for me in Dreamflow. So let's click generate client code. This is gonna do a new thread on the right hand side which is basically generating the Superbase client code for the project and it's going to guide me through connecting my project in Superbase. 